Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the CSI net paper pattern, a CSI net life science paper pattern or CSI net life science exam pattern. So basically, it's not about life science, but CSI net overall CSI net exam pattern. And when I say CSI net exam pattern, I mean how many number of questions will be there, how many questions will be there in the CSI net question paper, how many among those questions you need to answer, and what will be the total marks that you can get. Right. So let's start to talk about it. So CSI net question paper. Let me tell you few information before going into that details, uh, because many student ask me regarding it. You know, if you are appearing for CSI net life sciences, you can belong to any field. You can belong to zoology, botany, physiology, microbiology, biotechnology, biochemistry, genetics, uh, any uh, stream of life sciences. Whatever stream you belong, ultimately you need to appear in CSI net life sciences because there is no other specification provided. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Like if you are from botany, it's not like CSI net botany. There is nothing like CSI net botany. There is only CSI net life science. Okay, this is the first thing. Now the second thing for this exam, uh, there is a pattern of the examination. So you need to prepare all the different topics as per the CSI net life science syllabus that includes thirteen different units from unit one to unit thirteen. And if you want to know what these units are, I want you to uh, rec I want I'll recommend you to watch my video on CSI net syllabus in this channel. You will find it. Now, for uh, now, what we can say from this 13 different units, all the different questions will be asked, and all the units will be touched. It's not like one unit will be snubbed. No, not like that. Maybe in some examination, one unit is more important. They ask more questions from one unit than the other. This kind of differentiation is possible, and CSI uh, does that. But uh, they will touch all the units. Okay. So whatever background you belong to, you will get some question from your uh, subject expertise. Uh, expertise uh, and you can answer that okay so now the pattern the exam pattern it's the csi net question paper is divided into three different sections uh, the first paper is general aptitude paper which is common to all the different kinds of csi net examination subjects then the second and third paper b and paper c part b and part c are subjective paper so paper a that is uh, the the aptitude paper it includes numerical re aptitude reasoning and all and the syllabus for that is already mentioned so this part 1 or paper 1 that comes composed of 30 marks out of total 200 marks of csi net examination so total 15 question you need to answer from paper 1 or general aptitude paper out of 20 questions so 20 questions will be there in paper 1 you need to answer only 15 each question is of 2 marks so correct answer 2 marks wrong answer minus 0.5 Okay, 25% negative marking. Now let's move to the next paper that is part B. Part B and part C both are subjective, but part B is a short subjective question or memory based subjective questions, while part C is long or experimental subjective question, analytical subjective question. So in part B, there will be total 50 questions and you need to answer 35 out of that 50 questions. Again, like part A, each correct answer will give you plus 2 marks. And a wrong answer is minus 0 0.5. Okay, again 25% negative marking. So total marks from paper B or part B is 35 into 2, 70. So in paper 1, 30, in paper B, 70, total 100 marks. And rest 100 marks is from part C. And part C is composed of 50% of the overall marks because 100 out of 200. So in part C, you need to answer only 25 questions out of 75 questions. Okay, so in this case, each question carries 4 marks for a correct answer and for a wrong answer, 25% negative marking that is minus 1. So that is for part C. Okay. So in part C, each correct answer 4, each wrong answer minus 1. And 4 into 25 gives you 100. So that way, we have a 200 marks question paper. CSI net 200 marks question paper. And as you see the question, types are different. And you obviously will prepare your subjective course better than mathematical part so you'll obviously must start your preparation and must start writing the answer from part c then a then b keep part b till the end because part b are direct questions but part c question will take time to solve so that's a tip and when you start solving the question paper start with part c complete part c then move to part a then ultimately at the end move to part b otherwise you will uh, invest more time in part A and B and it will uh, give you less time to compare and complete part C and that will be a bad thing, right? So that's all about the CSI net exam pattern or CSI net paper pattern. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.